Hi, everyone. It's Scott. Welcome back to Following Jesus. Uh, in this uh, scripture, in this Bible verse, uh, we are going to look at instructions that Jesus has given to his disciples. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 through 42. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake and as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak. For it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Now, brother will deliver brother up to death, and a father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For assuredly, I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for a disciple that he be like his teacher and a servant to be like his master. If they called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they call those of his household? Therefore, do not fear them, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be made known. Whatever I tell you in the dark, Speak in the light, and what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever d denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I came to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a, man's, a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it. For my sake, and excuse me, he who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me. He who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup of water in the name of a disciple, assuredly, I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. 
Well, that was an amazing statement by a number of statements by Jesus instructing his disciples on how we ought to conduct ourselves and our affairs in this world. I hope it was a blessing for you. Until next time, God bless you. Bye now.